My first mother-in-law bought that outfit, so I went and had his picture taken, but I didn't like how awful his hair looked. Inside her York Township home, Deborah Booger flips through the memories she does have of her son. That's homecoming, and then there's prom. He's always in the football, too, so his major things were track, and football. But there are so many more missing. I didn't get to see him graduate from college. I didn't see him get married. I didn't see him start a family. All the things people my age should be enjoying, I don't have that. It's been 25 years since Jason Knapp mysteriously vanished from his South Carolina apartment. He had stripped the bed and it was rolled all up in a ball like he was gonna go do his laundry and nothing was missing in, in his apartment. It was Easter Sunday, April 12th, 1998. He was 20 years old at the time, a promising student at Clemson University who had just been inducted into a prestigious military society. I had talked to him on, on Saturday the day before. He called to let me know that he had been officially inducted into the Pershing Rifles and that he and a friend of his had been out looking at a couple of apartments. She talked to her son every day, but that was the last time Deborah would hear from him. Nine days after he went missing, Jason's car was discovered 30 miles from campus, abandoned in the parking lot of Table Rock State Park. But he never talked to me, and as far as I know, he never talked to any of his friends. So how he ended up there to this day is a mystery to everybody. Authorities searched the 3,000 acre park for two weeks, but came up empty handed. Other than a park ticket and some groceries found inside his vehicle, there was no sign of Jason. And they matched three of his fingerprints to the ticket. But other than that, that's all we know. We know he went in the park, but we don't know if he stayed. To this day, viable tips and leads have been few and far between. I miss going to the movies with him. I miss going out to dinner with him. And I just miss not having him around. Investigators with the Pickens County Sheriff's Office in South Carolina say they continue to search Table Rock year after year. No evidence has been found which suggests foul play, but it also has not been ruled out. And, this, and what a lot of people don't know is I had a miscarriage before Jason. And you learn to deal with that, especially when you have other children. But once Jason went missing, that bothers me too because I've lost both of my children. And as I get older, it gets harder to deal with. A few years back, Deborah and Jason's dad decided it was time to officially declare their son deceased. They held services in South Carolina and here in York County, where they said goodbye on January 31st, 2018. I didn't want somebody else to, to take care of the arrangements for Jason, and I wanted to do it. And at the same time, this gave us a way to say goodbye in our own way. A year later, Jason's dad passed away. Over the years, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has worked with the family to keep Jason's name and face in the public eye. Obviously, people don't just fall off the face of the earth. Something, uh, Jason's somewhere or something happened with Jason. We don't know which, but what I do know is we as an organization aren't going to stop looking for him. This most recent age-progressed photo shows him at the age of 44. It's part of our mission. It's what we owe to Jason. It's what we owe to his family, is to find out where he is or what happened with him. Deborah recently returned from Clemson, where she met with investigators and penned this letter to her son. It was her first time back since before the pandemic, and it might have been her last. It gets harder every year when I go down. It really does because I'm getting older and I'm not gonna be here forever. And I really would like to know what happened. It's that war between my heart and my brain. My brain tells me he's probably not here, but my heart still says there's hope. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.